bonjour. You might be wondering why I'm saying bonjour. Actually, you're probably not because I definitely made this title. But I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to get my little beret with my little baguette and I'm going to ponder down a street. <laughs> the end of the vlog. I'm actually going for a photo shoot, which is very, very, very exciting. Yeah, you're gonna come along, come along with me for the ride. What's new in my life? I'm trying to think. I got a chair. Really exciting. Maybe not for you. For me, the most exciting thing to ever grace planet Earth. <laughs> Strange. Drum roll, please. <laughs> the chair. Do we like? I personally love it. But then that did inspire like a 4 a.m. rearrange. My hair is a freaking mess. Um, a rearrange of my bedroom. What is crazy though is so when I was rearranging my room, obviously I went through my cupboards and look what I found. You're not going to believe it. My mood board. My no mood board, manifestation board, that's the one. One rainy day, I decided to make a mood board and look at this. Paris! I predicted it, manifested it, like this it fully came true. I don't see what else. I mean, the others aren't really specific. There's more just photos that I liked and like the aesthetic, but that's crazy, isn't it? If you want something, make a manifestation board on a rainy day. Although they, they say that you're meant to look at it every single day. I did not look at this every single day. I kind of put it in my cupboard and did forget about it, but it still worked. It's still worried to Paris. Paris, baby. Maybe get a drink and do a shot of every time I say Paris because you'll be cronked. I've never used the word cronk, that came out of nowhere. I did just have an egg and I feel like you could have seen the egg in my teeth. Another week and I'm still in my dressing gown. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're in your own home, not in comfy clothing, you're a psychopath. But I'm going by the Eurostar, which I'm so excited because I've never been by the Eurostar. Well, I've never, I have, no, I have been to Paris, but I was really young. I was a baby. I was a little baby, baby, baby. And I went to, um... Disneyland. Disneyland Paris. Why did that take so long to think? Embarrassing. Embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for myself. Obviously, I can't really remember it. So this is my first time going. The city of love, some may say. Ah. It's now a little later, if you can tell. You probably can because it's dark. But... Oh my god, that's so popular. I got so many messages. What have I done? I've literally done nothing. I've done nothing. I was meant to pack. I'm going to Paris in the morning. Whatever, well, a bit, bit of time before I go. The US starts at 10.30. So, it gives me a little, a little, a little lion. I won't lie in though. I've, I've, do you know what? I'm so bad at sleeping. I wake up at 6.30 every single day. I don't know why. I don't know why. And it's really annoying. What's that about? Talk about my sleep. I've got a bit of time. I'll probably pack then. I mean, I don't really need to pack too much because it's two days. And I'm going to leave some space this time because if I go shopping, I can put it in. Put it into bed. I've literally just been in bed. It's so bad. I've been watching Vampire Diaries and I've already watched it and I'm re watching it. It's just some days, to be fair, today's Sunday and like some days you just need, you need a day to just chillax. No, chill and relax. But I'm so excited to go to Paris. I am so, so, so excited. I might not see me right now because I am so tired. Biddy bads, biddy bads, biddy bads. Can't wait to, to bring you along to my little Paris trip. I'm going to stop this now because I'm just rambling about nothing, about absolutely nothing. Goodbye. Good morning. So, yeah, I was bragging about how much time I have in the morning. Complete, that's a lie. No time whatsoever. This is my outfit complete. Uh, I eat all. I feel like it's very Parisian because I've gone for like trousers. I've been very sophisticated. But yeah, I need to go for my light and miss. So you're a rose star. I've made it onto the rose star, finally. It's actually a video, I can't believe I forgot my passport. So silly. Well, I have arrived in Paris finally. Oh my god. The journey was going way too well. I was like, oh, it was this morning. Got on the train, was there waiting to go. I was like, wow, I'm here early. I went, Went to the shops, you know, had a great time to realise, as I was literally about to check in, I forgot my passport. The one thing, the one thing I needed to bring was my passport and gone out of my brain. I think it must have been the excitement of the baguette and the, what was it called, beret? It got, I got carried away with it and I forgot my passport. It's just, it's one of those things that I could have forgotten anything else and bought it, but the passport's the one thing you money can't buy. Just like me. We're in Paris now, I'm in my little chair. I feel like it's very Paris looking into the window. Nice setup. So yeah, a nightmare of a journey and it kind of ruined, it actually ruined the experience because I was planning obviously on seeing the sights and now it is six o'clock. I'm meeting a friend for a drink, which would be really, really nice. There was some beef on the Eurostar though, it was so funny. A lady got on and um, she pretended to make a phone call and she was like, 
well, there's this guy that sat in my seat, so I don't know where I'm going to go. Obviously directing at him, but pretending to be on the phone. The guy was like, this is carriage 13. And then she realised that hers was actually for carriage 12. There was an uproar in the carriage after that. Everyone could not stop speaking about it. It was a talk of the town in the carriage. That's my Eurostar experience, but it's actually very pleasant. I'm very tired from trekking all the way to London St Pancras to go all the way back to get my passport. And the worst thing is, it was like the first time my mum didn't remind me. How embarrassing is that? Just when I think I'm maturing, I'm becoming 20, I can travel the world by myself, I still need my mum to remind me to have my passport. Very humbling experience, I'm going to be real. If you watched when I last went travelling to model, what am I saying? If you watched my Stockholm vlog where I last travelled to go modelling, I forgot an adapter, but I've remembered one this time, round of applause, and I'm also going to check the windows are shut because I'm not having a bad night's sleep again. Over oh, there, definitely, definitely shut. I'll give a room tour real quick. But let me just go to the walk-in part. Um, oh, I just bumped into the door. That is the bed. I've also got another bed, so that can just be for my coat. Yeah, there's the window, and I haven't been into the bathroom, into the dark abyss. What's? Oh, very nice. I'm loving the green tiles. Oh my god, yes. I've got a mini fridge. I hope I've got a mini fridge. Dun, dun, dun. I love mini fridge. Um, so I'm just gonna go probably to the supermarket. I just love a supermarket trip. <laughs> oh, today, I've decided today just is not my day. I was just, you know, going a lovely, lovely browse in the supermarket, as I said. And then I came out tipping it down with rain. So now I look like a drowned dog. Lovely. But I did get a salad as well to add to, add to the bad news. It has olives in it. Although, the vinaigrette and um, balsamic came in this like sciencey tube, which is very fun. I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. Ignore, divert. So yeah, I'm just gonna have something to eat before heading out. If I can mix it up, mix, mix, mix. Such fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to pick around the olives. I guess that's okay. It's the olive theory, though, isn't it? My best friend loves olives, and I freaking hate olives. I don't know what it is. I just just, just not a bit of me. Oh, I can't figure out how to open the science test tube thing. Hello. Five years later. Oh, she's done it. They look at those muscles. God, they actually look massive. <laughs> That's quite what? It's, I promise they're not actually that big. It's just the cardigan. I wish I had muscles that big. Maybe one day. Right. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. Oh, rhymed, and that's French. Becoming a, what's it? Becoming a, um, not native. Becoming, oh my God, my brain is frazzled. I, I had too early of a morning this morning. I'm back now and I'm in bed, but I still need to do my skincare. I bought the eye patches again. That'll be fun today. I love putting an eye patch on, but it's a really, really nice, really nice evening. I have got a little spot though. Hopefully I'll be gone by tomorrow. Ooh. I have my fingers and toes crossed. Joining me in the bathroom, I've got one slight dilemma. I did forget a hairband to tie my hair back, so I'm gonna use my scarf. When in doubt, scarf it out. Ugh, this could work. Have I got that? What should we like come up with like a new hairstyle that everyone wants to do? No one's gonna want to do this off. This is the annoying thing with like little bits. They look really nice, but not when using a scarf to tie your hair up. No one is <laughs> me being like, what does everyone want to recreate this? Who the hell in their right mind you want to recreate that? I don't know. Think of time anyway. I've got my little trusty, my trusty kiss. I'm hearing weird noises. Scary. Uh oh, scary. I take this everywhere when I'm traveling. I love having the like travel skincare thing. No. <gasps> Wait, gonna brush this I actually can't. That's not real. Oh my god, okay, it's right. It can be saved, it can be saved, it can be saved. Luckily it's fallen down. Oh my god. <laughs> that is just my luck. Luckily, I don't think the head went in the water. I think it was just the <sighs> nightmare. Right. I'm going to give that a scrub. What was I doing? Got me Elemis cleansing balm. Cleanse me face. I can't believe, sorry, I'm still just like baffling. Today really is not my day. My toothbrush fell on the freaking toilet. Sugar. Sugar. Oh. 
nothing beats taking your makeup off, I swear, it just feels so good. Mm, especially after a long day. Today's been an extra freaking long day. Makeup is off, and now I'm putting on another cleanser. Because you'll know if you watch my beauty secrets, to always, always, always double cleanse. <laughs> Best thing about hotels, hotel towels. Am I right? They're just always like, just so nice and fresh and clean and lovely. Stunning. Right, I'll do the rest of my skincare. Well, the scarf has safely done the trick, so great life hack there for you. Got my eye patches. You'll be happy to I also sterilise my teeth brush. I've run under really, really hot water. I feel like that's done the trick. Well, I hope that has, and I don't get any diseases. Can toilets carry diseases? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Right, eye patch time. Eye patch, eye patch. I need to make sure. I always accidentally put them too close to the eye and then it starts stinging. But obviously it's all self-inflicted from my own mistakes. But I think I did that perfectly. I'm learning. Right, next one. Is it going to go as smoothly? I believe so. And there we have it two lovely eye patches on my face. Good morning, I've just gotten ready. I'm watching Slamba Larry's, of course, but I'm about to head to the shoot. Je suis arrivé home. I'm now home. You can take the Paris out of the girl, but you can't take the French out of the. I butchered that. You can take the girl out of France, but you can't take the French out of the girl. I was literally there for 24 hours. Shut up. But yeah, I came home. I actually got home last night, but oh my god, I was so tired. I got back late. Well, it was like. 11, 11 p.m. Just went straight to bed. I tried to show as much as I could, like, behind the scenes of shooting. Again, the whole team was absolutely lovely. And it was just such a good experience that I'm forever grateful for. But it was so funny, on the way back, me and the other model were discussing that we both were fully expecting the Eurostar to be in, like, you know, like, Sea Life or Sea World when they've got, like, a glass thing and you can see the fishies through it. I was fully, fully hoping for that. Obviously, it's not. But then it did get me thinking, how was the Eurostar made? I need to do a deep dive analysis on how it was created because it's baffling to me like they couldn't have drilled down they couldn't have drilled I just I need to find out and if I do then I think my life will be I think I'll just be a lot happier if I do to be honest with you yeah that's the end of the vlog I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my little trip and I'll see you in the next video goodbye